factors affecting attraction within romantic relationships, we're going to look at the filter theory. So we need to be aware of the three different filters within the filter theory. So this was proposed by Kirchhoff and Davis, and it says that we end up choosing romantic partners by narrowing down that choice, that field, by a series of filters. And those filters are more prominent or important at different stages. So we go through three filters and they're more important at certain stages of the relationship. So we're going to look at those filters in a bit more detail. So the first level is social demography. So that's the idea that um, social class, education, physical location are going to be a really important factor in to determining who we are most likely to meet in the first place. So the idea is we're more likely to end up in a relationship with someone that's from a similar social demography to our own. So social um, class, same sort of level of education, same ethnicity, because they're the people that we are most likely to encounter and therefore have the opportunity to form a relationship with. The second level is similarity of attitude. So once we've sort of found someone that we could potentially be in a relationship with, we're going to focus on whether they are similar in terms of their beliefs and values. So sharing beliefs and promotes communications between um, couples and similarity of attitude is an important feature. So we will be with someone that has similar attitudes, values and beliefs to our own. Now, the third level is about complementarity. So partners generally have traits that the other partner lacks. So it's not necessarily the idea that opposites attract. It's the idea that you are both complementing one another. So that creates a feeling of togetherness. So, for example, maybe one person likes to do a lot of caring acts and one likes to be cared for. So it's the idea that one partner has a trait or characteristic that the other partner doesn't have and together they work well together, which creates that feeling of togetherness, a unit that we work together well as a couple. So some AO1 type questions that you might encounter. So this is a nice multiple choice answer, which two are important factors in attraction according to filter theory of attraction. Write down two correct letters in your answer booklet. So remember with paper three, it will be a separate question booklet and answer booklet. So you're going to have to write it really clearly in your answer booklet. So for this one, you should have that it's D and E. Similarity in attitudes, obviously that's the second filter and social demography is the first filter. So we're we'll going to look at some evaluation points then. So it has a strength is it has face validity. So that idea, it looks like it is correct. If we were to observe relationships, and couples, we'd probably go that that filter theory does seem to make sense. You probably, it is correct that at the first stage, you are going to be with someone of a similar age, of a similar education level, of a similar social class, of a similar lo physical location, because they're the people that you are going to encounter. Equally, it makes sense that you will be with someone that shares similar values and beliefs to your own. So it does make sense and equally you might notice that those characteristics those features those filters become more important as a relationship progresses however it lacks temporal validity so online dating has increased over uh, the years and therefore those social demographic variables that filter that first filter might not be as important anymore so internet dating has made it easier to meet people so we might meet people who are of a different background to our own people that we might not have physically encountered in the past so it might not be dating people within the same location equally we might be dating people outside of our social class our education level or our age group because um, online dating and even um, the use of the internet has made it more likely to meet people of, from a range of backgrounds. 
So the idea actually that you have similarity of attitudes has actually been um, questioned. So we have another explanation that actually it might not be that you end up with someone that shares a similar attitude and values to yourself to begin with. It could be that actually because of your relationship and because of the time you've spent together, you've become more similar in your attitudes and your values and your beliefs. So you have this is referred to as emotional conversion. So I did the idea that romantic partners become more similar in their emotional responses over time. Equally, there's something called the attitude alignment effect, which is the idea that, again, couples develop attitudes that are more in line with each other as their relationship progress. So we can't establish cause and effect. It might not be that you end up with someone that has similar values to you, or that's an important filter. It could be that you just have that those similarities are the result of a relationship, not the factor that caused the relationship. Equally, many studies have failed to replicate the original findings that form the basis of filter theory, and that has been put down to social changes over time. So it might not be as valid or re um, reliable anymore. OK, if we were to look at some evaluation based questions, so you could get it as a 16 marker, outline and evaluate filter theory as a factor affecting attraction. So with this one, you'd have your AO1 of the assumptions of filter theory, what it is, who proposed it. Then you talk about your three levels and why they are important at each stage and then two to three evaluation points, depending on how in depth you are evaluating. Now, there has been an application based question um, as a 16 marker referring to Teddy and Sasha's relationship. So you're looking at factors affecting attraction. So it's all three factors in this um, scenario. But in terms of filter theory, it's the bit that's underlined that is relating to it. So we were in the same year at university. So that's the idea of they were in that first filter, that first level of social demography. So they have a similar background, similar education level. She was really good at the theatrical, uh, theoretical side and I was much better at the practical work. So that's the idea of the third level, they complement one another. And equally, the second level is there. We were both studying marketing, so it suggests that they have similar attitudes, values and beliefs. So that's how that could be applied to that scenario there. So with this base question, I would do AO1, what filter theory is, then my application of AO2 in a separate paragraph to make it really clear that I am relating it to it. Then I would probably do one evaluation point and then equally talk about another factor in the rest of the essay. So it could be physical attractiveness that I am talking about um, in there.